And let me tell y'all one thing. I actually thought I was trapped in an inner dark romance, baby, but it it turned out to not be that, okay? Because <laughs> I was like, okay, they real cute. They flirting or whatever, but um, what's up? Like, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, tipsy friends, it's your favorite big sis. Sarita from Sip Then Read. I am so excited that you guys are here. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you stay. I hope you like. I hope you comment. I hope you hit that bell. Ring a ding ding. Um, my sister and I do bookish content. We love black romance. We are all about the indie girlies. So that's if that's what you're looking for, baby, you are at the right place. And if it's not your first time and you are returning, hello, my love. Welcome back. I am so excited you guys listen 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 y'all asked i heard you and now i am doing it i am going to vlog my experience for the plus size readathon baby i ain't done nothing yet i i ain't i ain't read my books i, I ain't did what i was supposed to do but because you guys are gonna hold me accountable i will do it i'm actually really really excited um i'm not sure if i'm gonna start with my largest book or my shortest book first i feel like i should start with the shortest one first just because i can bang that one out i'm going to try to do them all in one week so i'm gonna do five books in seven days that should not be hard right but because i told myself to do it that's when it becomes hard for me i don't know why me and nikki were just talking about like when you tell yourself you're gonna do a tbr why does it become hard to read books i don't know why but i am breaking my reading slump today okay this readathon is going to help me break out of that slump and get it together honey um so i hope you guys enjoy the journey <laughs> bye Hey team sweet. <laughs> so I actually finished Rebecca Witherspoon's A Walk in the Park. You guys, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's adorable. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the prompt, but it was read a plus size male character. Baby, when I tell you this story was everything, it was everything. Uh, it was two hours and 24 minutes. You guys, it was adorable. It's a total Coco Calm. Like, I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm not normally that type of girl, and I'm not even really a dog girl, but when I tell you that they got me wanting to go adopt a dog. Oh, the lies, there you the go. <laughs> it was so freaking cute, you guys. I was inspired to color because of the story. If you know, you know. Everything about it was adorable. So there was a total mix up, and which we find out happened to be sabotage, okay? And they end up having to become parents together. I know, I know, I know, it's adorable. I can't tell y'all too much because it was so short, but it was so freaking cute. And it was so like black, like how black people are with their dogs. Like, uh-uh, you ain't getting on this bed and you ain't getting on this couch. <laughs> you guys, it was so cute. I loved it, I loved it, I loved it. Um, 
I know y'all didn't think that I was gonna be a real sweet girl, but guess what? I am. Thank you, Monica. You see me. Older sisters gotta switch it up sometimes, okay? Um, I adore this story. It was a total joy. So many people said, when you read it, you're gonna love it. It's so cute, it's so cute. I mean, it was, I smiled the whole time. It was cute, and okay, let me go back. It was narrated by Marissa Hampton and Shu Win Hawk. Don't Shu Win sound like an Asian man? I have to find him because he sound real, real black in this story, okay? And I don't know if I'm saying it wrong and maybe it's, I don't know, but I'ma find him and I'ma let y'all know. Um, they were phenomenal narrators. They did such a great job. They brought the story to life. They, I felt like they fit the characters so well. Oh my gosh, she was plus size, he was plus size. They were both like professionals, both like artsy. Everything about the story, you guys, uh, it was one of those, I've always wanted to say the meet cute. I've never got to say that, but like the meet cute was really cute. Everything about it, oh. Um, the only thing that could have made the story better is if it was longer. That was the only thing that could have made it sweeter. And let me tell y'all one thing. I actually thought I was trapped in an inner dark romance, baby, but it, it turned out to not be that, okay? <laughs> Cause I was like, okay, they real cute. They flirting or whatever, but um, what's up? Like, what's up, what's up, what's up? But then we got what was up and I liked it. <laughs> um, This, I totally recommend it. I think it was great. I totally adored the story. It was five sits for me. I loved it. Again, that was a walk in the park by Rebecca Witherspoon perfect story you guys it was perfect for a sweet thing like this was team sweet like perfect perfect it i mean it could give you a toothache it was so sweet i adored the story um if you guys have read it let me know um if you have not you definitely should and yeah i'm probably gonna go to bed now <laughs> bye guys good morning tipsy friends um how are you guys doing today i am fine because i have finished my second book of the plus size way you guys i am really excited i actually really like having a prompt <laughs> so um today's prompt was read a plus size book by an author you love as you guys remember, I chose The Omnibus by Miss Alexandria House. I chose Touch Me for the story, but I told y'all I was gonna read the whole Omnibus so it could be plus size. Baby, I lied. <laughs> I lied. Now y'all find out what Nikki finds out that I ain't shit, okay? Side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Listen, I was going to do that, but then I realized like I still needed to read these other books in these five days and I ain't have time. <laughs> um, I will, when I get home though, I am gonna go through the omnibus and just kind of show you guys the pictures and different things like the format and how beautiful it is. So I will do that, okay? <laughs> so the story is narrated by Denrelay Ojo and Jacoby DM. And this is such a good story. They both did so well narrating this story. Like, it's almost as if you're there, like you're on the campus, you're you're going through everyday life as a student or as a professor. I just, I love this story. I really feel like they understood the assignment. Um, Miss House played no games with this series, played no games at all. But this book, I just feel like was so bomb because you got different characters from other stories mixed in. I think there's like an honorable mention of them boys. I think there is um, a mention of the Strickland sisters. Not saying that they're specifically mentioned like this book, but these characters are in intertwined and I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, you get to see all the characters from the previous story, of course. This story gives you like a lot of family conflict, maybe like the different relationships you can have with a mother. Um, it gives you sibling relationships that can also be different. You know, like all of us have different upbringings and things. Um, the story is sexy. I mean, I actually felt like I got blacker listening to this story like there was so many things i'm actually gonna have some quotes in here i believe because there were certain things that were so awesome like the knowledge and the wording of things like if i could take those classes if i could go to Romeo, you i would go right now like that's how bomb it is you guys um 
Charlotte and Giovanni are probably one of my favorite couples of like all time. I just feel like they were perfect for each other. Um, I loved how they complimented each other. I love how they supported each other. And the story is just really good. As you guys know, I have um, read it before, but I almost forgot how much I loved the story. It's funny as hell, baby. When I say that shit is funny, it is funny. There's just, Miss House did her big one with this one. Like it was just so, I know I say that with every book cause I guess every time she just does it and does it and does it. <laughs> But this one was so damn funny. And then there was like emotions. There was so much in this story. Like there were actually things like medical terms that I had never heard of. There were even like mentions of um, like artists, like songs and things that I hadn't heard of that I had to go look up because I wanted to hear the song. And I'm like, okay, I see how that could get you in the mood. Um, there were mention of different women that I had never heard of. Like, I really feel like this story educated me so much on things that I didn't even think I wanted to know, but that's the type of reader I am. Like, if there's a song mentioned or a poet mentioned or an author mentioned in the story, I like to go and look it up just so that I can further understand the story. Um, and I forgot those things. I'm sure I did it the first time, but I just forgot how much like I enjoyed it, what I learned from it. Um, I just really love the story, you guys. I feel like it's a 10 out of 10 story. I feel like Jacoby and Aden really delivered a 10 out of 10 performance. It was everything. The lights were lighting, baby. Let me tell you one thing. Charlotte ain't no joke, okay? <laughs> I feel like Charlotte was so comfortable in her skin and it showed. Giovanni was just, oh, he was so intelligent and so sexy and so different from what we would consider a book bay. And I really, really loved it. He inspired me to share pictures with you guys from the house party, which was themed after the Romy You series. Um, so I will share those with you guys. Um, I'm on to my next book. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna choose yet but I will let you guys know. Bye. I am back with another book that I have finished from the plus size readathon. Baby, I am putting them down. When I tell you I'm putting them down, I'm putting them down. I am so proud of myself. I feel like my reading slump is over. It is done because I've just been able to keep going. I've even read things in between you guys. Like I'm super, super, super excited. Um, Today's book that I finished, the prompt was read a plus size book with a cute cover. And if you guys remember, I chose That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Demon by Kimberly Lemons. When I tell y'all that this story is so freaking cute, it's a rom-com monster romance. How are you not going to love that, okay? With a plus size Coco character, listen, listen. So I actually read this years ago, but I feel like I completely forgot. I'm one of those book readers that will read my whole story. I will literally be telling you like, remember when she said such and such and Nikki will go and look for such and such and it wasn't there. <laughs> so I feel like I knew this story. No baby, I rem didn't remember a lot of things. A lot of things, okay? The cool thing about this story is, it is set back in medieval times, but they're using today time language. And I love it, it is so cool. They're just mixing different things in it and Oh, you guys, the story is storying. I love monster romances and I feel like we don't get enough of them on audio with black characters. 
So this is awesome. Um, this story has brave heroes. It has different types of monsters. It's got a lot going on, okay? It actually inspired me to have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, I really, really love this story, okay? So, I'm not gonna tell y'all too much, but I am gonna tell y'all that Miss Hazel Addison did not come to play, okay? This is not my first time hearing her. Actually, this was my very first time hearing her years ago. I've actually heard her narrate another story that I really loved. I believe it was The Witches of Easton. And she did a really good job. So I kind of feel like when she narrated this one, it was more like in the beginning um, of her career or maybe it's just when I found her. Here I go telling y'all stuff I don't know, okay? But the story is fun. There's funny moments. There's like some serious moments. Um, it's definitely a town that is tired of the bullshit, okay? Let me have my drink first. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all know that's my favorite wine. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So it's really cool because you follow these different little towns and there's different people, there's different heroes in different time, in towns and they've got little farms. Like I never knew that cinnamon came from farms, okay? I don't know if that's real or if that's just something she made up for the book, but it is so, I feel like now I know something, okay? Um. And I really like her homegirl with the cheese. Gosh darn it, I had some cheese, y'all, that I was supposed to put out and eat cheese too because she has a cheese homegirl. <sighs> Anywho, let's get into this. I really <laughs> like the different monsters. I feel like a lot of times when we read monster romances, it's the same type. It's always just a demon. We never really get senators and leviathans and things like that. So I think it's really cool that we are getting different things like that in this story. I don't want to tell you guys too much, but what I am going to tell y'all, it took too damn long for the lights. Too long for the lights. When I be thinking monsters, I be thinking monsters, okay? But here we are. <laughs> um, for those of you that like trigger warnings, there is light BDSM. There's also like some talk of some other things, you know, they talk about that in the story. If you're listening to it, they give you the trigger warnings. I can't remember them all because I'm not a trigger warning person, but I do remember like BDSM. Um, I needed him to get her a lot sooner. That's all I'm gonna say. That's it. Um, I love the, fi the family dynamics. I love that this town was so multicultural. There was a lot of different people in the town. Um, I liked getting to find out what kind of monster he was. I really felt like that was super cool because I thought he was one thing and then he turned out to be something else. So that was nice. Um, I don't know. I feel like they did a good job unwinding the story. Um, I feel like I don't read enough of stories that are like this and it's making me want to go back and read the other ones. Kimberly Lemons did a really good job with this story. To me, it is a, five, a 10 out of 10, a five out of five. The narration, I'm gonna give it a four, okay? I'm gonna give it a four just cause I wanted a little more different voices, but she really did do a good job. Like I can't complain cause it is having a good narrator. I can't complain, but I would have liked just a teensy bit different with the voices. But other than that, I loved it. Um, the only thing I would say is you're going to want to read the other ones. Like you're going to want to read right, rush right into them. So I'm going to have to wait a minute because I have to finish these other things before I get to that. But we now have one, two, three, three books down, you guys. Ah! I'm so proud of us. I am so proud of us. Um, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Hey, tipsy friends. Um, so your girl is doing a very, very, very late check. -in. <laughs> if you guys remember, I was trying to finish five books in seven days. Well, I did finish three of those books. I still have two more to go. I did not make it to finishing them in seven days. Why? Because my older son came into town. And if you know my older son, if you have ever heard me say one story about him, then you know he is a world when he turns everything topsy-turvy when he comes into town um 
when I tell you that he wants all of your attention, not just my attention, he wants Nikki's attention, he wants my daughter's attention, my son's attention, my mom's, he is an attention <sighs> vortex, okay? <laughs> he pulls everything and he needs all the attention and we love to give it to him because we miss him. We don't see him as much as we'd like to, so of course, we all want to be all up in his face, but baby, if he sees me turn a page, if he sees an earbud in my ear, he immediately goes crazy. He starts saying, mom, I never see you. All you care about is the book characters. What about me? What about me? He is 24 years old. Boy, if you don't go somewhere, but of course I cater because I just, I'm one of those, okay? <laughs> I'm one of those. I spoil the shit out of those kids and I need to stop because why? Because I I have not got to read or even start Curvy Girl Summer. Listen, I need to do this before summer is over. I really, 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 really want to complete the sum, um, the plus size readathon, you guys, but I have been struggling because of him. I was on a roll, and then it was like I couldn't get back on the track, so I'm gonna try my hardest to get it together. I have been hearing everybody on Instagram, everybody on TikTok, so I immediately shut it out because I don't wanna hear their opinions. I wanna have my own. <laughs> So I'm going to try to listen today at work. I'm gonna to try to do some reading on my lunch break. I'm going to try my hardest to finish this story today so that I can at least start the last one, um, which is the group book. So I'm gonna try my hardest, y'all. Fingers crossed, I can do it. Um, yeah, so let's get to reading. <laughs> Hey, tipsy friends. <coughs> so your girl has to come to you humbled. <laughs> um, I only read chapter one. That's it. That's all. That's all I could do. I couldn't get any further. And what I've read so far, I really like. It starts off nice and spicy, nice and steamy, just the way I like it. But baby, 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 baby. Um, Let me go backwards. This is the TikTok prompt. And um, yeah, I wasn't able to complete it. <laughs> Today is like the last day of August that the video can be edited so that it can go up and I'm not ready. Ugh! I am going to finish it. I just wasn't able to finish it right now for the readathon. I am super bummed you guys because there were two books that I was not able to get to. <sighs> but. I'm, I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna do better. This is only my first, ri my own, my first rival. This is only my first readathon. So I, I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna give myself a tad bit of grace. But next time, I'm going to do better. I'm not going to wait till the last minute or the middle of the month. I'm just gonna do what I need to do. So the two books that I was not able to complete was Curvy Girl Summer and um, My Curvy Rival both of those that I will still read because I really want to I just wasn't able to get to them um yeah I, I didn't do what I wanted to do but I wanted to thank Julie so much for inviting me and Nikki to the plus size readathon it was amazing I loved all the prompts everything was cute team sweet baby I'm sorry I let y'all down by not completing it Ugh. but next time I will do better um I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, I wanna do more of these. I wanna actually complete what I'm supposed to do as well. And it's kinda weird, cause I'm a reader. Like I'm a real life reader, y'all. I be reading. But for some reason, I can't prove that to y'all. <laughs> y'all don't know that about me because I refuse to finish books. That's beside the point. What I will talk about for the plus size rival, I mean the plus size rival, oh my gosh for the Curvy Girl Summer is that Wesley Siobhan is not playing, baby. When I tell you she ain't playing, she ain't playing. The very first scene is my girl getting a black bone, her back blown out and she deserves it, okay? <laughs> you guys, it's sexy, it's very summery. I really wanna try to get this done soon. I am loving what I have read so far. Again, it's only been chapter one. I like what I read so far. It's not enough to really tell you guys about it because I don't really know nothing. <laughs> 
but I really am excited to finish it. If you have read it, please let me know. Do you love it? Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. If you've read any of the books that I have read, I really wanna know if you guys like them. If you like how Nikki put the video together, please let me know. Um, again, I'm sorry. Team Sweet though. Um, <laughs> bye guys. Oh wait, wait. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, ring a ding ding. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.